<clears throat> Hello, uh, I am a little boy who died and my name was Kalal Bilgum and um, I died when I was five years old and I died um, very painfully and I remember that I was walking in a foresty forest tree area and I was running and I fell and I hit my head right here very hard and then my whole body, I remember hitting my head and then my whole body went all numb and I died. Well, when I woke up again, my, I remember it was all happened so fast, but in so slow. Because I remember hitting my head, and the pain shooting down my body, and then my whole body going numb as I was paralyzed. And I closed my eye, and then I left. And that's how I died. And I'm now in heaven. And I am enjoying myself very much <laughs> because it's like my body here is too small to kind of use a big word express myself like I want to whereas in heaven I'm able to express myself as I choose. Like, um, I enjoy at the moment going to children who are sad and finding this world difficult because of their parents. And then they become angry at their parents because their parents don't want to allow them to just live and be and express themselves. And then I just jump in there as myself, as them, and then I just take out all those systems and the sadness because it's not necessary. And then have them do what they would like to do, whether their parents become angry at them or not. And then I show them that their parents aren't angry at them, their parents are angry at themselves because they're sad, because they are not allowing themselves to live and express themselves as they would like to in this world because they've got too much ideas and problems inside them. So that is me. I'm going to bring the next child. Thank you. Hi, my name is Asynthia and my surname was Eduardo and I died when I was five, almost five. Um, I drowned. Um, in a dam because I was swimming and then I dived from a rock and then there were other rocks at the bottom and I dived in and I it was so quick I remember the water I remember bumping something I remember, you know, you know when you like just become not conscious as though you're drifting away to sleep. 
I remember that, like drifting away to sleep, but underwater. And I drowned. And I died. But I am now in heaven. And I am enjoying myself very much. You know what would be the perfect world for children? A world with no parents. <laughs> Parents don't have to be parents. They're able to be... You know what should parents do? It's just let their children enjoy themselves. Parents don't do that. Parents say, do that, do this. Be like that, be like this. This is not supposed to be the way you do it. This is what you must do it how, like. Always. Like. You don't want us here. It's like we're okay when we're babies and then apparently when we grow up we're a problem. But why? Because we're just learning to express ourselves and then when we don't do it the way you want us to do it, then it's a problem. Because what happens when we're babies? When we're babies we are able to be controlled. We are just fine. That's the way you want us and that's just fine. But then when we grow old, we can't be the way you want us to be, you know. So parents, maybe just, you know, give your children a chance to uh, just express themselves and see what you're able to learn from the children. I know we've said it sometimes already, but you don't hear us. So that's how I died, and I'm in heaven, and I'm great, and I am enjoying myself. It's actually no different to here at the moment, because I died so young, and I was quite pleasant in my experience, but my experience in heaven now is great. So it's from pleasant to great. I'll come back though, but first, not have a world full of parents. You know, as parents are defined in this world at the moment. Okay, <laughs> that's me. I'm going to bring the next Okay, I'm going to say bye now. Okay, bye.